Hi, welcome, thanks for checking out the channel. In this episode, I'll be covering a simple, easy to learn foundation Qigong form. Uh, this form consists of 12 sections, and the good news is the last two movements are the same as the first two movements, so that makes it a little bit easier to learn. It's practiced on the spot, and can also be practiced in confined space, such as this, as long as you've got arms reach, uh, you'll be able to practice anywhere, so that's convenient. I'm not going to cover any technical aspects in this video. I just basically want to demonstrate the movement for you to follow along. <clears throat> However, I will be uh, guiding you on the breathing technique that's used or the breathing patterns. Because whenever we practice Tai Chi or Qigong, we're always combining at least three things, which is the breath, the movement and the concentration. Okay, so let's get started and have a look at this form. To begin, we just start in the usual way, which is common to most Tai Chi and Qigong form. Feet together, coming up to the knees, the knees are slightly bent, off lock. Hips are relaxed, maybe the pelvis is uh, tipped forward slightly. Coming up now to the chest, keep the chest sort of concave, relaxed, so we're not sticking our chest out, just relaxed, taking pressure off the heart and lungs. The chin's tucked in, again, to keep the spine as straight as possible. The tongue will be touching the upper palate. And then we want a feeling in the crown that we're being raised, suspended from the crown, which allows us to elongate the spine. And if you're practicing on your own, you might spend five or 10 minutes in this position, just relaxing, feeling, you know, the areas of the body, is there any areas of, te attention, of tension? and we just dissolve any areas of tension in this position. But for this purpose, we're just gonna move right along to the first movement. So with our breathing, just breathe in nice and relaxed. We're gonna inhale, exhale down, stepping out to the side, inhale as we move across, and exhale down. We start the first movement, breathing in, so the palms facing up, right over head. And then we begin to exhale, bring the hands down, bending the knees slightly. Breathing in. And we're breathing out. Exhaling through the nose. Once more, breathing in. Straightening up the knees and then exhale bending the knees and bringing the hand down. Okay, next movement, palms up, reach into the front, shoulder height, breathing in. Change the palms and breathe out. Remember to sink down when we move down. Breathing in. Raising up. Breathing out. Once more, breathing in. Shoulder height. Breathe in out, so relax from the shoulders first, and then bring the hands down. Okay, the next movement, go into the back, breathe in, push away, and exhale, relax. Inhale, push into the rear, and then exhale, bringing the hands back. Inhale, push back, and exhale, relax. Next, going out to the side, inhale, just to shoulder height, change the palms and down, exhale. And again, inhale, change, and exhale, relaxing from the shoulders first, down to the fingertips, inhale, and exhale. Next movement, up to the center of the body, to the neck. Inhale. And exhale. Sinking down. Inhale, we straighten the knees. Raise the hands. Change the palms. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keeping the back straight. Okay, the next movement, we breathe in. Start to change the palms. Exhale, push, 
push right up to the ceiling, keep the pressure on, inhale, and then exhale, relax. So we want to stretch there as if we're stretching in the morning, kind of that nice extension, inhale, exhale, gradually build up so that you're pushing up, inhale, and then exhale. Down. So we'll inhale, and then begin to exhale. When we inhale this time, pushing, you feel the abdomen go in, and then exhale out. So that's reverse breathing on those last two movements. This so next one, we're gonna inhale. This time we're gonna open the chest, and then exhale. Leaning forward slightly on the balls of the feet. Push, inhale, and then exhale, relax. Okay, so we're looking for some tension. We're relaxed, relaxed. As we exhale and push forward, lean forward, start to build, not the tension, but the stretch. Inhale, and then exhale, relax. Once more, inhale. Open the chest, exhale, push forward gently, then start to build, push, 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 inhale, then exhale. Okay, similar movement now, I'm gonna open the chest, inhale, then out to the sides, exhale, gently, then start to build that stretch, pushing, inhale, then exhale down. Once more, inhale, exhale, push, build the tension up slowly as you begin to push, inhale, and exhale down. Last time, I'm gonna inhale, exhale, push, inhale, feel the abdomen go in, and exhale, relax. Okay, this time we're gonna bring, bring the hands back to back, fingers back to back, we inhale. Tipping back, exhale. Bringing the hands back together, we inhale. And then exhale, pushing out to the side, keep the spine straight and we're just bending the head forward. Okay, so I'll demonstrate from this side, we inhale. Exhale, as we tip back, Inhale, bring the hands together. Looking down, exhale. Okay, so we're keeping the spine straight, but we're tipping the head forward to get that stretch. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Bending the knees slightly, inhale. Exhale, stretch. Pushing out to the sides. Okay, the next movement, we sink down. I'm gonna make a heart shape, so we inhale. Bend down slightly, exhale at the bottom of the heart shape. Bring the hands under the chin, inhale. Rise up, hands, fingers back to back, and then exhale, bend the knees again. Okay, and again, gonna inhale, heart shape. Exhale, a little bit lower this time. Bring the hands in under the chin, inhale, fingers back to back, exhale, and bend the knees slightly. Last time, inhale, heart shape, this time going a little bit further down, hands in, inhale, fingers back to back, push down, exhale, bend the knees. Okay, next movement. Same as the last two, so breathe in. Change and exhale. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Last movement, breathing out to the side, up right overhead. Inhale and exhale, gently sinking down. 
Inhale. Exhale, sinking down. Inhale. And exhale. Sinking down. Once more, so we're going to breathe in. This time, bring the left leg back to the right. Sinking down. Then we're just going to place one hand over the other. Close our eyes and just breathe in for six breaths in your own time. Just focusing on the area under the hands, the Dantian area. Just gently breathing in. And out. Six times on your own, just relax. And then just gently open your eyes, start to move your fingers, your toes. Okay, so just a final warm down, just rubbing the hands together. Exhale. Just gonna inhale, bring the hands over the head, around the back of the head and exhale. Inhale, so over the nose. Back of the head, exhale, once more, inhale, and exhale. Taking the palms of the hands over the ears, just gently rubbing the ears, around the neck. And then finally, exhale, rubbing the palms, generating heat, place over your eyes, inhale, and exhale. Try and absorb that heat from the hands into the eyes. Just connect it with the liver. Inhale. And exhale. And the last time now. Inhale. And exhale. Okay. So that brings us to the end of this session. If you've enjoyed it and would like to see more stuff, um, perhaps like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll hopefully be doing some more videos soon. Check out the other videos. I've covered the eight form uh, Chen style Tai Chi. That's just a short demonstration. I'll be going to that in a bit more detail. Uh, but particularly the Shibashi 18 Qigong form, all 18 movements of those have been broken down on this channel. So you can either see the entire demonstration or just the individual movements. And I'll do similar with this form. Uh, also, a number of different warm-up techniques as well, uh, depending on what you're doing. Uh, they're handy for martial arts or other kinds of sports as well. Uh, systematically working through all the joints in the body. And uh, yeah, I recommend that warm-up. Um, so again, thanks for checking out the video. Um, yeah, be good to yourself and each other. And uh, hopefully see you again in another video. Thanks very much.